What's up, YouTube? One's Launch Garage here. Alright, I know in one of my previous videos, I think it was the one I was talking about, ranting about Craigslist or something, <laughs> I talked about some parts and about a future project. Well, here's the future project. 1970 Chevy Nova. Ain't that thing beautiful? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a 70. Uh, I was told maybe it's a 70, 71, but... We'll see. The thing's actually in really good shape, as you can see. It's not really too rotted. I mean, actually, it's got really no rot anywhere. Um, I'm just making this video to show you guys what I got and what I'm going to do to this. Because <laughs> this is, uh, there is plenty to do on this car. Let me, let me tell you. All right. Um, I think I'm going to start in the interior. As you can see, I mean, the seats are all, uh, pretty bad but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two two racing seats here and I don't think I'm gonna do a rear seat I'm, screw that I don't need that race car life uh, I'm gonna do a roll cage maybe some probably use some gauges on the dash and stuff like that um, I mean that's pretty much it oh and also for I think I'm gonna remove all the panels on the inside all the interior panels and just do the aluminum ones like you see in drag cars I think that's what I'm gonna do all right and then moving to the body, realistically, I really don't have to do any body work. And that's, that's pretty much why, oh, no, never mind, I do, I'm going to fix that door right there. The body is very good, I mean, nothing, corner, look at that corner panel, huh? That thing's solid as a rock. Uh, the only real problem is that the bottom of the fenders is rotted, as you can see. Um... And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put um, <coughs> fiberglass fenders. Probably a fiberglass cowl induction hood. And I might do fiberglass bumpers. I don't know yet. Pro I might do that. But let me show you the under the hood. Doesn't look too bad. Very, cl very clean, let me tell you. Um, so, probably going to take... Uh, I'm probably going to open it up. I'm probably going to take the inner fenders out when I put the engine in just because I like the way that it looks better and just gives you more room to work. But pretty good. Frame's in really good shape. Even the freaking radiator support, as you can see, not even rotted, which is crazy because I'm surprised it wasn't rotted. I don't know if it's new or it's the original, but it's in really good shape. <laughs> and then pretty much for a drivetrain, I'm going to do... I have a... Uh, Chevrolet Performance ZZ4 crate motor I'm going to put in it. I'm uh, probably going to do a turbo 350 trans and then I'm going to keep the 10 bolt rear end that it has now and put definitely going to put a posi in it. Um, probably 373 gears. And I'm going to paint, I'm pretty sure I'm going to paint the car black. Yeah, I, th I think that's definitely like maybe like a flat black. So it's going to be like a street slash strip kind of car. So something I can race plus just drive on the street, but definitely it's gonna be definitely gonna be a lot of work. But I'll be filming all along the way. So over the next couple months, we'll be filming this. I'm sure a lot. Um, I'm hoping to have it done by the beginning of next summer. So maybe June. I want to have it done by. I think I can do it because this is a really good start. Like I said, the biggest thing for me is body work, and there's not really too much body work to do. The floors are new, quarter panels are good, so can't complain. So, <coughs> definitely stay tuned to watch this build, and make sure to stay tuned and watch my other build, because we're going to be doing some things to the pickup. I'm pretty sure I blew the water pump, so I'm going to be doing that. And then the blazer, hopefully within the next month or so will be um put an engine in it so <laughs> stay tuned for all the projects so until next time make sure to subscribe check out our other videos share this video and wait for more <laughs> come on